I have been trying out a new custom ROM on my Samsung Galaxy S5 for a week now. So I have reviewed few other ROMs for Samsung Galaxy S5 and this time we have Lineage US based on Android 12 and I did review few other ROMs. So if you don't like this one, you can try other ROMs. So this ROM is actually based on Android 12, but it is an unofficial version of Lineage US. There is no actually official version of Lineage OS for this device right now. If you go like higher version, maybe you will get like Android 9 or 10 official version, but not really Android 11, 12, 13 or 14 like that. But surprisingly, this ROM is working very well. But there are few bugs here and there. I will discuss all those things in this video and I will put the ROM link in the description below. So if you want to try out this ROM, you can just download it and flash it and if you don't know how to flash a custom rom i made a full tutorial of installing like twrp and everything for samsung galaxy s4 but basically you can use that tutorial for your samsung galaxy s5 too because all those actually pretty much similar so going with this device as you can see it is like booted up so let's go first setting and we check out android version and everything so this rom is only for SMT900F. I haven't tried on other variant of Samsung Galaxy S5. If you want to try, just take an Android backup before flashing the ROM so that if anything goes wrong, you can restore the ROM and use your device. So as you can see here, Android 12 and it's a, let me check. Yeah, it's Android 12 and if I go back, as you can see, Lineage OS 19, unofficial. And the security patch level is from October of 6 2023 so not really a uh, very old security patch level and going with other things so lineage os doesn't offer many features actually the rom is pretty much a usp rom so they don't really put any kind of features like tweaking the ui or other things like that but there are few things which i have to discuss or i have to tell you first of all going with the network and internet these things are working perfectly fine and i haven't faced any kind of issue with these things it's working as you can see wi-fi is already connected i did try bluetooth but maybe nfc will not work for some reason i did try nfc but it is not really working i don't know anyone use nfc on these devices or not but nfc is not working i'm not really sure but i did try it, it didn't work so going with other things we have application section here and going back to notification we have notification we have battery section and also battery section have few other things like battery light you can like customize this thing rather than that there is nothing much going on like we get with other custom rob like they show how much power is taking and which voltage and everything they show on the lock screen those things are not available in this rom and storage as you can see 11 gb is available around 11 gb available so it's really good actually you see out of 16 gig you are getting like 12 gb as you can see 11.75 gb is free so at 12 gb is free going to the sound section there is nothing much going on yes you have like dock speaker plays and other things and also you can change the charging sound if you want or not and you can even change the sound from here so those things are here but not really useful i say going with the display display section got a lot of features like first of all we got adaptive brightness which does work perfectly fine if you go to the lock screen section uh, we have ambient display section and ambient display you can see always on so if you turn on always on it will show the always on display currently i'm not using always on display because uh the battery on my phone is not really good one so it will die in any time so that's why i'm not using always on but it is working perfectly fine and other things here as you can see in the locker skin we can see the display music visual also you can display media cover art if you want you can turn them off too and screen time out and dark theme so if you turn on the dark theme it will it will be pure dark actually and you can change it actually you want pure dark or something like a grayish one so as you can see pure black if you turn it off it will be grayish i don't really like that one uh, if i want dark mode it should be dark actually so i'm not using right now dark mode so turn it off going with the font there are few fonts as you can see here you can choose whatever you want you can change display size and we have icon shape if you want you can change them and going to the live display this one is pretty useful actually so we can change the color profile 
and we can change the display mode so if you go to automatic section as you can see the display got a little bit yellowish because it's night time so it reduce like it's make the display temperature uh, a little bit yellowish so i'm like keeping it in the daytime and also we have automatic outdoor mode we have reading mode which will make the whole display black and white so if you want that that is also available even we do have color calibration so you can like do whatever you like with the display a lot of features available and also we have reduced power consumption and i did turn it on i don't know it works or not but it is on default it's turned on going with other things we have tap to sleep does work tap to sleep but there is no tap to work but we can use home button to work the display so accessibility section we have like text and display dark theme and other things so basically few other things here but not really that much useful now come to the security section so in the security section we do get like fingerprint and other things available but fingerprint is not really that good here actually it does work but it's not really that good so i would I would prefer to use only pattern lock or, or pin code lock or rather than using finger pin is pretty slow and sometimes it doesn't work so as you can see it did work right now like if I swap and it, it is working but it doesn't work most of the time so uh, it's not really reliable going with the privacy there are a few things going on here too we have location we have safety and emergency features now coming to the system section in system section we do have few other things going on but uh, although this rom is based on android 12 but still we don't have like full screen gesture uh, rather we have like button section here uh, you can choose a few other things like with if you want to do something else with these buttons you can do like double tap action long press action those things are available but no full screen gesture option so if you go to gesture option there is nothing going on like that uh, we do have like press and hold power menu and other things rather than that's nothing much we have updated section doesn't work any like it will not update anything like that because there is no official update for this device so that's all about the setting section almost most of the things actually in the setting section there is nothing much going on with the device now going with the ui as you can see i have installed few application here the rom did not come with gfs i did try to install gfs it didn't work that, that is one of the like negative side of this rom uh, GFs is not working. I did try to install and failed and also I tried to install it through Magisk. Still it didn't work. Although I have able to install like micro G here but Play Store did not work. So that is one negative thing of this ROM. So if you want GFs you have to absolutely like ignore this ROM. Going with other things, we do get few application built in and I have installed like new pipe for YouTube and also Fox Manager and Magisk. Magisk is working perfectly fine. Rather than that, I also got like a camera here. Uh, one issue I have found with the camera is that it doesn't autofocus. So as you can see, it doesn't autofocus. But I have to tap to focus as you can see. If I tap, then it, it will focus. But rather than that, autofocus doesn't work actually. So phone calls and other things working. Wi-Fi working, Bluetooth and working, everything working perfectly fine. The only issue I have found with it is with G apps and as a custom ROM, you will get few bugs here and there. But rather than that, it is a perfectly usable ROM if you don't want G apps. So that's all about it. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.